Let's do real niggas of the week. They need their ass beats. Because I wanted to talk about this Kodak shit, but I'm just going to tie it into the they need their ass beats. Because Kodak, I don't know who need their ass beat. It's either you or your team. But you are a druggie, my friend. But let's do real niggas of the week. Um, first one, Young Thug. Salute the Young Thug, man. He got out, man. Sex. Sex is free. Sex is free. He out. He got out that claim. Yeah, I see how excited he was for that. Who who isn't excited about sex? Well, when you don't look, what you looking for, nigga? Nigga, yeah, you in the closet, nigga. Know what I'm talking about? You a homosexual? Know what I'm talking about? I ain't got nothing against you, but nigga, don't be trying to poison the pussy population, nigga. With your old, with your old sick dick. See, niggas be hating, bro. See, I'm excited about having sex, right? Yeah. I'm not excited about calling a man sex. You don't respect niggas, bro. And that's your problem. You just don't respect people. How, why is that? Like, right, bro, when you come on here, you talking about some bird, call me Joseph the Explosive. Niggas respect that. Bro, that's crazy. That's what you want to be called, nigga? That's crazy. <laughs> you never came on here and be like, call me Joseph the Explosive. No, nigga, I never said that. You never said you was Joseph the Explosive. I never said, call me that. But that's your nickname, though. No, it's not, bro. All right, bro. No, it's not. What's your nickname, then? Don't worry about that. Mr. Beat a nigga ass. <laughs> that's not your nickname, bro. Yes, it is, Because it didn't even, can't come, it didn't even sound convincing coming coming out your mouth, Pauls. I'll show you convincing. Man, man fuck you, man. <laughs> but shout out Young Thug, man. He's free. Boy, I don't and know. I, say how you want to say it. Nah, you hate it, bro. I'm gonna say call, how you want to say I'm it. Call him, I'm gonna call him Jeffrey. Free. Jeffrey. Jeffrey Free, man. This nigga's a fucking hater, bro. You could have called him Slime. I'm not calling him Slime, nigga. I'm not I'm not a street nigga. Hey, bro. I don't want my nose white. Oh, no, nah, you can't call him that. He can't have no. He can't have no affiliations. Yeah, man. Yeah. And to you niggas, man, shut the fuck up, bro. Y'all niggas sound like. Y'all niggas sound like POs, bro. That nigga, Young Thug, recorded a video with T.I. They talk, oh man, this nigga mm. violated his probation. I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up, bro. If y'all was paying attention to the case, they said only people he can't hang around with is people that were a part of the case. Only people that was a part of the case that he can hang around is young. I mean, his is brother Gunna, and Gunna. His brother and Gunner, bro. They didn't say anything about he can't be around convicted felons, which T.I. is a convicted felon. But I'm pretty, but let's be honest, bro. Niggas not stupid, bro. Yeah, and I mean, they know that's for money, not for gang. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it is, I, you know, I don't like. I ain't gonna speak on that. Say what you gotta say, bro. I just, I just hate when people do that. It's like, why even jump on the internet immediately like that? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. man, y'all share that moment. Oh, you talking about Tia? Yeah, because to it me, is. Thug ain't really look comfortable leaving. You know what I'm saying? It came off like a surprise to him. God. I ain't see the experience, so I'm yeah. just going off the clip. <laughs> I, I seen it, but uh, you could look at Thug and he was like, I was kind of like, bro, why are you recording me? Because th this is two times T.I. done did the clout shit. Bruh. And that's what I'm saying. Like These older generation rappers, we hold them in such regard because of like music that that yeah. that we listen to, but a lot of the personal shit, man, we gotta start like really paying attention to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because these ain't the people that we are list like the the person the 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 persona is different. You yeah, because I, mean? I seen the first one. It was the first one uh, chameleon that posted, and like T, T, she was like recording the phone. Yeah, and you like she was like ah oh, like she won the Super Bowl, and I was like I don't think that should be recorded. And then the Ti one. He all in a nigga face. Like, imagine you meeting up with your homie. He just be like, he just got the phone in your face. Like, bro, come on, bro. What Hold you on, doing? You said who did it first? The first one was Chameleon that posted it. With Thug? No, oh. it was when Thug, it was like right when Thug got out. I guess that the, one of the first people he called was T.I. And he was on the FaceTime and she was all got the phone like this. Oh, got you. Because yeah. she filming a movie with T.I. I don't know what they filming, but they filming a movie. Yeah. But, um... She had did that, then she recorded, she did flip it, she was like, ah, the camera. And I was like, I don't know, that's kind of weird. Yeah, and see, then, uh, then the one with the T.I., the nigga, all in the nigga, got his shoulder on the nigga, like, look who I'm with. 
See, my thing is they hate when people do that to them. Yeah. Why do it to others? <laughs> exactly. And that nigga Thug was looking around like, he was like, yeah, slapped or whatever. He was just doing, he was like, I was like, bro, I just came over to chill, bro. You the OG. I wanted to, I ain't seen you about two years. Right, like, nigga, right. can you not record me, my nigga? I don't know, man. T.I. be doing some weird shit sometimes. Like, hey, All bro, them old ass niggas. Damn, bro. You and T.I. are the same age, bro. Stop it, bro. Chill out. <laughs> what T.I. is like? I'm, I, was, I was joking there, but yeah. how old is T.I. realistically? What is it? I don't know. Probably yeah. mid 40s. You think he's mid 40s? Gotta be. Let's look it up. Let's see. Let's see how old T.I. He ain't no 38 type shit. 30, 38. Yeah, you right. He about, he, uh, he 44. Yeah. 44. I'm just playing. Um, next one. You lucky we passed the limit, bro. Yeah, we met the we met the green quota from him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next time I'm gonna save a space it's, for you. It's your fault. I'm you gonna mean. save one slot for you. All right. <laughs> we were just talking about uh Wayne, man. Shout out Wayne, he got the key to the city, man. Yeah, shout out to Wayne. Hey man, this is my first time seeing the New Orleans mayor, man. Shit's is like Oh yeah, I mean in that uh, Catwoman suit, she yeah. did tackle. Yeah, she got on the. Um, Let she, me catch her at aromas. She dressed like Monifa. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that. Uh, what the fuck, Master P got on? I was gonna say that suit, they tighter than a motherfucker. <laughs> Ray his suit. That nigga, that nigga probably get it like a six from me. <laughs> that shit should have been tailored way better. He looked uncomfortable in that shit. This the only way I can stand. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, bro. Shout out to Master P, but I look at him different after Lil Romeo was beefing with him. I remember that shit. <laughs> yeah, I ain't bro. understand that. Yeah, man. I look at that nigga different, man. Uh, next one. Real Yakub of the week, man. Duval legend, man. Tim Deegan. He's retired. At, this is crazy. He was on the news for 42 years, bro. Yeah. That is insane. That's crazy. Legendary Jacksonville news anchor, man. Yeah. Yeah. He did the, I think he does the weather. Mm -hmm. He does a little anchoring, man. Yeah. And his claim to fame was he took Dan Hickens' wife. He took it, he took it, yeah. Donna, Donna Deegan. That used to be Dan Hickens' wife. Wow. Yeah. The mayor of Jacksonville. Wow. And he he and married. Then he made her mayor. He married, yeah. He married to the mayor of Jacksonville, the current mm -hmm. mayor of Jacksonville. Yeah. Donna Deegan is Tim Deegan's wife. But she used to be this. Yeah, I thought I was looking at y'all like, damn, you know this? But you from Pensacola, so what you ain't know. I ain't no, know, I wasn't trying. I, ain't I wasn't know. trying to insult you. I'm just saying you when they was when she was Donna Hickens, right? I you ain't wasn't know you yet. wasn't here yeah. yet. Yeah. But yeah, she used to be Donna Hickens, and everybody know Dan Hickens. He the dude that be doing the sports and shit. Yeah. Which is <laughs> we were talking about. We were talking about Jackson Media, but yeah, yeah Donna Hick, Donna Deegan. She used to be buried at uh, Dan. <laughs> Too many D's, Pauls. Whoa. Dan Hicken. Tim Deegan pulled. Shut up, man. I'm just Tim saying. Deegan pulled up and said, he like, that's my bitch now. Got her. She divorced, bro. Mm -hmm. Now she Donna, Donna Deegan. And now she the mayor of Jacksonville, bro. Hey, that's a, that, that that's that's the realest <coughs> yeah, y'all cool we done ever had. Took took yeah, took it to took, took bro bitch, bro. Yeah. And and still work there. Mm -hmm. Nobody got fired. They all still was working at the news station. That's crazy. That's crazy. He looked at <laughs> imagine a nigga take your wife and you and see him you, every day. He looking in the eye. Ain't that what happened on Anchorman? Damn. That might have been the storyline. Damn, based off yeah, based off a of true Anchorman was based off a of true story. Yeah. It does say that on the on the front. It say maybe based off a true story on the cover. There you go. Damn, that's crazy, man. They but probably I, sold that shit. That's why. That's why they had that campaign money. But man, let's so, run this shit. Damn, bro. But salute, bro. Tim Deegan, forty-two year, bro. Don't Anchor bro, Man three coming soon. Please don't make another Anchor Man. <laughs> please, please, <laughs> nigga. I seen Anchor Man two in the theater. Yeah, bro. Anchor Man that two was, was terrible. I was terrible. legit about to walk out, bro. Terrible. What is the, what's the work? I was so mad. Like you seen it in the theater? No, I, I seen, seen that, that shit on Bullet. <clears throat> I seen that been in the theaters, bro. I was so mad. What's the worst movie you ever seen in the, in the movie theaters? Hmm. Damn, I don't know. I'm a guy. I got Anchorman 2 and another one I seen in the movie theater that I was like, nigga, this shit's so bad. I seen the Strangers movie 
The horror movie? Oh, yeah. Wait. I seen that in a the movie. Theater. That Stranger movie is not good. Hold on. You talking about the one where... Uh, the like, original one with Ethan Hawke. I think that was Ethan. I don't think that was Ethan And Hulk. they was knocking on the door and shit in masks? Yeah. Nigga, that shit fire. That shit is not fire, brother. Fire. First, it's not a scare. It's it's not a horror movie. It's a thriller. When did I just say... When did I say it was a horror movie? I said uh, it wasn't a good movie. No, nah, that shit... That shit that wasn't shit, good, that shit bro. That good movie, bro. That shit... What, what, what you ain't like about it? It was just boring as fuck, bro. And then like, they ended up killing them all in the end, bro. It was like one of them things where like... It's based they, on a true story. I don't care. It still wasn't good. Like, it had... So the premise of the movie was like... I understand the movie just wasn't good. It was just boring as fuck. Like, they had the two... The couple, they was out in the cabin. Mm-hmm. They was about the... They had some marital issues. They were, mm-hmm. I think they broke up, didn't they? Yeah. They pretty much breaking up. And he then had, they had asked her to... Um, he had asked her to marry him. And she said no. And then they had to go home. Like, they were at a wedding. Yeah. And he asked her to marry her. Yeah, nigga. Or first, at least at a dinner or something. First of all, you need to be getting... You need to be getting axed, bro. You at somebody else's wedding, and you asking a bitch to marry you? Yeah. Nigga, it's not your time. Yeah. Yeah, that's real. Matter of fact, maybe the maybe the people that was getting married, maybe they sent, sent the strangers. Like, that's man, funny. Like, bro, go kill Nah, this. that nigga got killed. From the wedding? Yeah, the nigga that um that his home he the nigga that he went oh out yeah there he for, came yeah. to the house yep because he was finna pick up pick oh maybe up. it was the wife did yeah, no he killed him matter of fact that's what bro that shit was fire and it wasn't Ethan Hawke in that movie it was somebody else um, yeah I, I ain't trip, never do shit I was tripping but, it. I was tripping about Ethan um, Hawke um, when I said that I was thinking because Ethan Hawke he did um I don't know if you ever seen it's called Black Phone mm-mm. Black Phone is fire. Go watch that. Ethan you? Hawk got some good ass movies. Yeah, as a matter of fact, they're making a uh, black phone too. Really? Yeah. You remember the one? Ethan Hawk was in Purge also, which is oh yeah, movie. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and his movie was his Purge was great. Yeah. He he wasn't in the first one though, was it? He it was wasn't the, the first one. He was in the first one. Okay, yeah, yeah. The first one to me the best one, honestly. Uh, Purge movie. If I remember correctly, yeah. Like the storyline was amazing. The like all of that shit just played and worked out really well. Oh yeah, most of um, a lot of most of them was good. Only one that I didn't like was that one where it was in Mexico. I think it was called the First Purge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was ass. Um, have you seen Civil War? Civil War. I'm talking about uh, Captain America. No, nah. <laughs> he's green. I ain't seen it yet, but uh, Sam was in the Discord. He said it's fire. Bro, Sam be you gotta take you gotta take it with a grain of salt. I Sam know. be watching monkey shit. All right, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's very racist to say. I don't care, nigga. He <laughs> that's racist. <laughs> I don't care, nigga. He watching monkey shit. I feel that. Hey man, that nigga Sam, he was hating on Groove and Gorilla, man. Groove and Gorilla's not. Hey man, Groove and Gorilla. Groove and Gorilla wins. Hey man, he green, when he be bro. making, <laughs> he, he is green. green. He's very green. But well, Groove and Gorilla, when he be doing them Johnny Bravo videos, I'm sorry, that bitch is funny, bro. That nigga be like, come here, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Oh Green my ass, nigga. god, bro. When that nigga Groove and Gorilla do the Johnny Bravo video, them motherfuckers be funny, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I don't care if y'all judge me. That's one of them things where I like. I know this is silly, but I'm sorry. I can't stop laughing. Groovy, that shit is not funny, bro. Groove and Gorilla just do the Johnny Bravo videos, man. All his shit corny. All right, man. It is what it is, bro. Ne- next one, man. Casa Night, bro. Keep doing your thing, bro. You getting paid off that shit, so. Yeah, man. Yeah, do your thing, Groove and... Groove and I don't even think bro name Groove and Gorilla, man. Bro name... He had to change it. That was his name. Yeah. That nigga was purposely calling himself that. That nigga... Your mama, your mama call you Groove and Gorilla, I'm going to call you Groove and Gorilla. His mama probably called him Coon. <laughs> I think he, uh, I think he might be a, uh, what is Groom Gorilla? Is he Jamaican or he African? One of them. He overseas. I know he ain't American. He over water, yeah. Yeah, man. That's, that's y'all nigga. He not an FBA. Psh. Um, next one. I got Kasanat. <laughs> Kasanat will be using 20% of all revenue from his upcoming Mafia Thon. Subathon to build a school in Nigeria. Saluting him on that, man. Yeah, y'all, sure. y'all niggas hating, bro. Y'all said, why he ain't building a school in Haiti? Hey, man, you take your money and build a school in Haiti. Let bro build his school in Africa. Haters. 
Hey, Judge Joe Brown, man. Not Judge Joe Brown. Judge, Judge Greg, Greg Mathis. Mathis. He got he got his woman back, bro. Y'all niggas said he wasn't gonna get his wife back. He was in the, he was in the uh, airport, and they were like, "What you up to, Judge Mathis?" He was like, "I came to get my woman back, and you on crack." <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as hell. But they were like, and everybody like, bro, stop it, bro. Your woman gone, bro. But nah, he got his woman back, bro. Hey, man. Salute to him. I don't know, bro. Judge Mathis, if you watching, bro, she probably got some she got some dick on the low, bro. You got to accept some things. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Charge it to the game if you want, if you love her. Yeah, she got some, she got some little, she got some young dick on the low. She realized the street wasn't for her. She came back, bro. Because like, Bro, you've been married for 40 years, dog. It's like, at that point, it's like, nigga, ain't nothing in the streets for you. I'm 100%. married. It, it, it's not, if you married for 40 years, there's nothing that should be able to break your marriage up. Nah, that's real. Like, nigga, you, you, at 40 years, y'all might as well just stay together. 40 so. years, get you another apartment, you know what I'm saying? And y'all separate for six months and come back. That's what most people, that's what mm-hmm. most of them old people be doing, bro. They mm-hmm. just get, they, well, they got, they usually have a house. Yeah. The mom sleeping in one bedroom. Yeah. Nigga, that's how y'all do it, bro. Yeah, some yeah, some married couples they just got they got separate houses. Mm-hmm. Do it, do that, bro. You got money, Judge Mathis. They mm-hmm. Judge Mathis made like a million dollars an episode of some shit, some crazy ass ignorant shit. There you go. They go build, go get her house. Y'all live in Detroit. House is like uh, thirty dollars in Detroit. Go get her house. I know the royalties gotta be crazy because that nigga sure. be playing every day, <laughs> all day. Yeah, every day. Yeah, every time I'm at my grandma's house, she watching that. She watching that and. Uh, what you call it, bro? Dead. That shit still be on TV. The uh, the Jerry Springer court show. Oh yeah, that shit yeah, yeah. still on. That should be having new episodes. Yeah. I'm like, God damn. Oh, uh, what was brand name? Um, some Wilbur or some shit. Wilbon. Steve Wilkos. Wilkos. There you yeah. go. There you go. The Steve Wilkos. Show. We talking about Judge Show, dummy. Stay on track. <laughs> You the one who brought him up. I said, because Jer- Jerry Springer got a cut, a judge show. Yeah. You never seen that? No, but wasn't Steve Wilkos on that shit? <laughs> no. Oh, my bad. <laughs> we were talking about judge shows. Now, judge I Matt- thought he was in that shit. Nah. That ain't the big, tall, bald dude that used to be with... Uh, uh, oh, no, nah, no. Nah, he was on Jerry Springer. He was on Jerry Springer. The, the Jerry Springer, the TV show. Right. But Jerry Springer had a court court show right, too. Right, right. I remember he had a court show. I don't remember who was on it with him. Like, because nah, he was the nah, judge, right? Nah, uh, nah. You talking about Jerry Springer? Yeah. Nah, nah. No, yeah. Jerry Springer was a George judge, but he did that like right before he died. Like he stopped doing the regular show and started doing a court show mm-hmm. where he could judge. Mm-hmm. But like for whatever reason, bro, did like the still that bit still dropping. I think they had that nigga doing eight shows a day like Cree Summers. Like, that nigga yeah. had that. They were like, yeah, nigga, you going to pump these shows up. I thought he was uh, security on that shit, too. Um, or the the bailiff, rather. You ever watched the Steve Wilkos show? Um, a couple times. That shit was in every, yeah, every episode of the Steve Wilkos show. The same thing, bro. He was like, why you beating your bitch? Yeah. And then, boom, yeah. fight breaks up. <laughs> why you beating her? Uh, why you touching that kid? This is your child. Yeah. All he did was berate them niggas. Every, every, every episode. <laughs> you need to be good to her. Yeah. And he just be take, standing two feet over <laughs> him, too. <laughs> then you take a chair and just throw that bit. Like, <laughs> like, what the fuck? Now, I remember one time, Queens Flip, he had a dude that was on a Steve Wilco show. And it was the episode, I don't know if you ever seen it, but Steve Wilco threw a chair at this dude. And the chair got stuck in the wall. Mm. So Queen Flip had the dude on his show. Yeah. And Queen Flip was like, why you let that white man do that to you? He was like, I would have slapped Steve Wilkos. And the dude was like, man, he he said, he called Queen Flip. He was like, man, shut the fuck up, nigga. You a bitch. You ain't gonna he was like, he was like, the shit he like, the shit you talking about, Steve Wilkos, do that though, do that to me right now. Yeah. This nigga Queen Flip got up because they was at the little table. <laughs> yeah. And the dude was at the couch. That nigga Queen Flip, he like, nigga, shut the fuck up. Then Queen Flip got up and grabbed a bottle of water and just poured it on the nigga head <laughs> while the nigga was just sitting there. And then they was like, they were acting like they were about to fight. But I was like, brother, nigga, pour water in your head. 
I was like, you sit down. That's, if a nigga stand on you pour water, yeah, yeah, I'm about to hit you with an eight punch combo in the nigga, chest. Nigga, the uppercut gonna be so vicious, nigga. <laughs> right, you, right, you <laughs> wouldn't have shit on me. Like they gonna have to call that the Joe Yukin. The <laughs> Joe Yukin. I was like, bro, once you seen that nigga pour, take the cap off, and had the water over your head, you should have been like winding up eight punches. It, it's gonna be one of them where I'm. Freeze framing in stages <laughs> as I'm knocking your ass out she with an uppercut. I would have been like, ha, ha, <laughs> <in that chair." laughs> like, nigga, why you just letting the nigga just stand over you and pull water on you, bro? You nigga's weird, bro. That's crazy. Pull that nigga card, bro. Uh, I got this one nigga, man. He the, he he, my real nigga of the week. Nah, this nigga hilarious. I've been I've been watching him for a little minute. He 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 got some good shit for sure. I ain't never seen bro before, but salute to him. What is that? What is your company doing? How was it formed? OCDA is an acronym for Occupational Cares Diversity Affairs. Uh, and what we do is people go to my website, they file a complaint about their boss or their supervisor, anything like that. We show it to the job and we cuss their ass out. Yeah, all, all, everything you want to say to your boss, everything you want to say to your boss that you can't say, y'all. Contact us, go to our website, ocdaofficial.com, and we'll show up and say all the things you want us to say verbatim. Is it anonymous? Like, do they know who it's Oh, yeah, the complaints are totally anonymous, yeah. but I say everything verbatim, so you can curse on your complaints. I'm going to curse anyway. Yeah, now I will say this. Like, he do a great job, but some of his shit is definitely OD. I don't like when niggas do shit and it's, like, too ignorant, you know what I mean, to yeah. where... Like, you got to understand this inspires someone else to do something similar type shit. Yeah. And then shit builds. You fuck around with the wrong person. You know what I mean? So now you talking about this particular one? Or you no, talking no, about no, the no, 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 no. Just in general. I'm going to play this. Because I'm going to be honest. I didn't look at it. Like, like I watched one. He was cussing in church. He was cussing at people in church. And that's 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 a bit that's crazy. excessive. Y'all sit down. Even for a skit. not going to last long enough to sit down. You don't know what's gonna last. This is my meeting. <laughs> this one was funny though. This is not your facility. Listen, let me tell you, like I tell other, time out, let me tell you something. Like I tell other supervisors and managers and uh, 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 bosses, if you not the CEO of the company, you ain't shit but part of the bottom line. You ain't nothing right. but a puppet for the CEO. Right. This is not for you to say this is your facility. Tells me all the entitlement that you think you have or think you supposed to have. This is not your facility. You got to punch in just like everybody else. And when we done with me, you going to carry your ass back to work and do whatever you was doing. No, because this is not his facility. You time out. You time out because that's how we talk at OCDA. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I had this when I was working, bro. Cause I used, to, I used, to, but I used to do my boss dirty sometimes. Cause I was a manager, but my boss, he, of course, I had a boss. But uh, I was supposed to like when we had different shit. I was supposed to like de-escalate stuff. Yeah, and so he ain't even got to worry about it. But sometimes, like when he was about to come into this shit, I used to like like put everything on him. So I remember one time this black lady, bro. At the airport, you see all kind of shit. So her her um, parking fee was like, bro, that bill was like, bro, that bill was like six dollars, bro. She ain't got she got no money, bro. Yeah. So I'm like, so I'm when it when it's like cheap like that, we were supposed to do like IOUs and just like bill them for how much it was. So, bro, I I knew he was about to come in at eight a.m. I told that lady, I was like, "It's nothing we can do for you." <laughs> I just told her, "It was nothing you can do." Like, it was, it was nothing we can do for you. She was like, what the fuck? Is nothing you can do for me? I like, right, nothing you could do for me. As soon as he came in, she was I was like, hey, he can I was like, oh my boss just came in. He he can he can help you out. And at this point, the lady was there like 30 minutes, bro. She yeah. cussed him clean the fuck out, bro. That's funny. I was like, hey man, fuck you. I could have easily just gave her an IOU and like let her out, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Brett get cussed out, bro. Um I'm starting to question, is America ready for a woman president? <coughs> bro, you got like that West, that West Coast. That you, bro, we do this every year. Bro. I'm you just gotta, saying, you like that, that bit getting way too close to the West Coast for the margin to be this, this drastic. Bro, West Coast three hours behind us. You gotta yeah, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to yeah. think the polls closed at eight. You ain't going to see. You, we ain't going to see shit minutes. wrapped up until, yeah, I get that. I think that's that, uh, that might be all the points Trump get. I would hop on Twitter and see what niggas say, but we're recording right now. But um, my next one is this dude. I think this is Omega. He's going to Omega and talk to racist people and give them and dock yeah, the yeah. address. 
to get their actual Africans, their like actual animal chimps, and they they don't care. Thirty St. Petersburg, Florida. Does that ring a bell? Yeah. Oh, checkmate. Damn, it sounds like a library in this bitch. What's going on? You sitting there all quiet like a church mouse, dog. God damn. What was that you were saying? Ch See, I bet you didn't wake up this morning thinking a chick was gonna do that to your ass now, did you? Mm. Now, let me ask you another question. Who is ma- Is that you? Don't tell me that's you, big dog. Not like this. You don't look like a ma- to me. Usually ma- are nice people. You look more like a Ryan. You know, you Ryans are hateful people. Oh, sorry. My bad. I just you want a piece. You're really gonna ruin a 14 year old's life over over on that TV. Uh, no, yeah. don't play the victim. Listen to me carefully, you fucking recessive chromosome. Okay, don't play the victim now. You knew exactly what you was doing. Oh, salute, bro. So that ain't even his best shit. He don't always dox their address, but he definitely tear them crackers up. Where bro got that banana from? I guess they were calling him. We call him well, monkey. Yeah, on Omega, everybody called them niggas. Oh yeah. Yeah, bro. At least Sam cousin alone. That's all right. funny. This yours. We already did this one that that all didn't right, happen. All right, all right, all right. That <laughs> all right. nigga got a Tyler Perry skit on his for a real nigga. The week. What's this one right here? So I gotta give it to this officer actually, cause it's only so many times that I'm gonna let you call me nigga, and I got some opportunity to beat your ass. I ain't. I, I rebuke this. We ain't giving no swines and no real nigga the week. I'm just playing. All right, so it's a black officer. This is a body cam, right? Yeah. Well, right, it's wait. the white man's body cam, but yeah. <laughs> Do the black man not got a body cam? Um, I think they showed this angle because it puts both parties in view. I got you. I'm still sitting on my seat for the right so way. For me to tell you what happened, happened. I'm not leaving. I'm all five of my kids. Not... It's a Georgia, Florida game? Yep. Uh, so I'm looking at it. He doesn't have any Georgia merch. Doesn't have any Florida merch. What fan you think he is? Well, he's a Georgia fan. That's 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 no question. Uh, I will say his colors indicate that, but <coughs> you know, okay. also his views. You can yeah, tell he's a South Georgia person now, for sure. Cracker, you can't afford you can't afford a bulldog shirt. Bulldog mm -hmm. shirts like ten dollars mm -hmm. at Walmart. They only had one for his girl. <laughs> They should have actually beat his ass more. Yeah. I think the white dude that was he got the body it. cam, he should have been, he should have helped out He should have started the fight, honestly. But, uh, bro, bro, like, I know the audio is hard to, he like, make out um, like that, especially without seeing the video. So, sign, you know, go over to YouTube and check out the video. But yeah. um, he started it by saying that he if, if he was going to jail, yeah. he was going to do it beating their ass in the process you know what i'm saying also why why you just said that hey man definitely sign up for the patreon because the youtube videos that we be having is definitely not the same as the, the one yeah, that's on yeah, youtube yeah. because i'm definitely gonna have to blur that out because <laughs> oh. but if you're on a patreon you're gonna see it but yeah i gotta blur that out but yeah basically but just google it you yeah, know, yeah, Florida, yeah, Georgia. yeah yeah look it up man but uh that's crazy man and that, that let me they let, they let you know, bro. These these people, these be y'all coworkers, man. And yeah, they be, for real. And they be racist as fuck, bro. For real. Yeah, man. Anytime they get an opportunity, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Like, nigga, you did they say why they was up there though? Like, were they just start a disturbance of the game? Yeah, I think it was some kind of a disturbance, and they 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 weren't trying to arrest him at all. They were literally just <coughs> asking him to leave. Yeah. Oh, they was making him leave. Oh, okay, yeah. he probably got a little too drunk. Nah, I mean, he did state in there that somebody was trying to kidnap his kids. I don't what? know how that's possible if your girl, like, I don't know if that was their mom, per se. Mm. But um, I didn't even see no kids up there. Yeah, I didn't either. But it's like you had clearly had enough adults in your group that they should have watched them. To prevent anything like that from happening for one and i'm not trying to place no blame in that regard but what i will say is um that sounds rather random you know what i'm saying yeah that don't make no sense bro i'm a i'm a kidnap the kids in the nosebleed the 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 nosebleed bro they was up there bro of the everbank stadium <laughs> bro they was in the, first of all he couldn't afford a shirt he was in the ten dollar seats that's another thing also when I when I notice of working at the airport, bro. Them them rednecks like that, them racist rednecks, bro, they don't be having no money, bro. They be poor. Yeah. <laughs> they got enough money for their truck and their crib, and that's it. They spend all their money on that uh that's that uh Silverado. Yeah. With with forty inch lifts on it, though. <laughs> that's all they can afford, bro. All right, next one, bro. Someone else crazy gap in the game. They mad Jason Kelsey. Oh yeah. Smike oh well. He said the F word. Well, nah, somebody called him the F word. Called his brother the F word. Yeah, yeah. How does Travis. it feel? Uh, yeah. Kelsey, Kelsey. Kelsey. Hey, Kelsey. Kelsey. How do you feel your brother's a faggot? Kelsey, can I get a fist bump? Kelsey, can I get a fist bump? Damn. Hey, man. It is a video. It's a it's a version where Kelsey said the f word, but he said, "How do you? How do you?" He said some shit about uh, how do you? F-? I don't know. He said the f word too, and mm-hmm. TMZ tried to play that shit just to make sure, make it look, make him look bad, and yeah, then yeah. also he apologized. Like, I wouldn't apologize. I wouldn't, have, but in that position, you have to. Oh, wow. I mean, one, don't harass me. I'll pay the prop. I'll pay the fine. Yeah. Personally, you know well, what I'm saying. Well, it's no fine. The, you don't like, play football no more. No, 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 no. Like that, that, that's a destruction of property. <coughs> what grabbing dude's phone? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's destruction of property. He could actually sue bro for that. Well, good thing it was recorded, bro. Yeah. All right, next one from King. It said, "Uh, shout out to this retired Atlanta man who turned a school bus into a mobile laundry service for homeless people." Salute. That's a big fire. Yeah, that's dope, bro. I'm gonna skip over that. <laughs> 